It's another day, it's another drop. Welcome back to the SHW Off-Road Daily Drop. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you've never been here before, you're in for a treat because today we're gonna to talk about trucks. Um, if you own a truck, this is for you. If you don't own a truck, you can still learn something new today. So stick with me. Today we are gonna cover truck bed cargo slides versus truck bed drawer systems and where one or the other might apply better in certain uh, situations and circumstances. So let's dive right in. I'm Jake, SHW Off-Road is a manufacturer of organization systems and vehicles, whether that's drawer systems, seat deletes, stuff like that. But we focused on drawer systems. There's a few reasons why, but before we get into drawer systems, we're gonna talk about cargo slides. So there are pros and cons to both of these kinds of setups. And it's not really like there's one that's better than the other, but rather, they shine in different scenarios. So I'm gonna start with cargo, what a lot of people call cargo slides or cargo trays. There's a couple major manufacturers out there, Cargo Glide, which I think is owned by Decked at this point, uh, Bed Slide and a few others. So let's dive right in uh, to give you an idea of what I am talking about when I talk about a cargo slide, this is what I'm talking about. So it is an open tray on usually ball bearing slides and they come with different load ratings they extend out different dimensions or different lengths and stuff like that so this is a cargo slide or a cargo tray okay it's open so with that there comes kind of a list of pros since it's open you can you can carry larger or bulkier gear there's no height restrictions with a cargo slide unless you have maybe a rack or something but it's not enclosed. Most of them aren't enclosed, right? So you can load this thing up without having to worry about height restrictions. It works really great for contractors that have bulky gear and they want essentially their whole truck bed, they want it to just slide out and, and give them access to everything in the truck bed. So usually a cargo slide works better when you're working with really bulky or large equipment you know, that, that doesn't fit well typically in a drawer. So that's uh, uh, pro number one. Pro number two, and there's a disclaimer here, they waste less space, right? Since it's a big open slate, you've got less partitions, less material dividing up the space, so you have less material wasting the volume in your truck bed, right? So theoretically, they waste less space, but we're going to talk about later... Uh, why that's kind of allegedly the truth. It's, it's not the complete truth, and I'll dive a little bit once we get into drawer systems uh, into that, maybe dispel a little bit of a myth uh, on that side of things. Lastly, it's lower profile typically, right? So if you're someone that needs uh, the depth of your bed for the most part still, a cargo glide might be for you, right? It takes up very little depth in the bed unlike most drawer systems. This is Dex's uh, cargo slide, but if you look, look at their drawers, this isn't true perhaps for all of our drawers, but if you look at their drawers, they take up most of the bed. Ours take up less, but they still take up more than like a cargo slide, right? So a cargo slide, an open cargo tray, probably works best for you if, if you're someone that has a lot of bulky, tall gear, if um, or if you just need the depth of your bed. Drawers, though, have a long list of pros and really, I think, shine perhaps in more circumstances than a, than a typical bed slide, especially in our industry that we're focused on. That's recreation, outdoor, overland, that kind of stuff. So the pros of a drawer system, they're weather resistant, right? So with a tray, you cannot confidently store a bunch of equipment and know that it's not, either not going to get... Uh, smoked with water or sand or dirt or that kind of stuff, right? It's an open tray. So everything on that tray is going to get hit with your environment unless you start to pack it in boxes, bags, stuff like that. And that's the disclaimer here. When people say that there's less or that they uh, waste less space when it comes to cargo slides or trays, yeah, that's true. But as soon as you try to get your gear organized and in bins and in totes and containers, whether to just get organized or to keep them out of the weather, you're going to waste space really fast because you have a bunch of individual bins all with their own walls and stuff. And you're going to waste more space typically than a drawer system when you go that route. So a drawer system, you don't need all the bins. You, the, the drawer systems are self-contained. A lot of them are weather sealed. 
ours uh, use a compression seal across the front lip. You can't see it in this picture. And then we use a compression latch to squeeze that bulb seal. So that keeps weather, most, most dust, uh, dirt, that kind of stuff out. Truck Vault uses a similar uh, system, big fan of their system also. Deck uses a less substantial weatherproofing system. They use a weather strip across the front with a flap and it keeps most stuff out, but you'll, you will see complaints out there of, of snow drifting in or, or lots of dust and even water intrusion sometimes. Uh, but for the most part, Deck does a pretty good job. It's just not as substantial of a system as say Truck Vault, truck vault or, or ours, SHW Off-Road. So weather resistance, that's a big one. And I've already uh, kind of hinted at this one too, but ultimately you are more efficient with the space you use on a drawer system than a cargo slide, right? As I was saying, the cargo slide, if you want to keep anything protected or organized, you would have to put it in bins and containers, which waste a ton of space. So just having two drawers that serve as your kind of sealed environment, if you will, it's, it's more efficient that way. Uh, third, a huge pro or where it Drawer systems usually shine as if you have tons of small equipment that you need to keep safe and dry, whether that's firearms or camping equipment, chairs, stuff like that, right? So a lot of people in our industry, or what we're focused on at this point in time, outdoor recreation or, or over the travel or camping, that's, most people are in, in that situation where they have a bunch of little gear that they need to keep organized and need to have a space for and need to keep dry. Right, so being able to have a drawer with all these uh, maybe partitions or dividers, but a space for all this little stuff to live and not have to worry about it being stolen or, or getting rained on or what have you, it's super nice, right? You can't do this as well with a cargo tray, you know, right? So that's number three. Number four, you're less likely to lose stuff in your truck bed. Right, so since you've got essentially the drawers act as bins, they collect all this gear. But if you if we go back to the cargo tray, a lot of them either have very shallow sides or no sides at all. And what that means is equipment or your gear can easily fall off the tray and kind of get buried in the corners of the truck bed. Right, so if you lose equipment off to the sides or up in the fender wells, or if it falls back up up towards the cab you've got stuff that kind of strewn all over the place. You, you usually have to have a cargo management management net or something to keep everything contained, which again, just adds to the complexity in the setup of a cargo tray. So you're less likely to, to lose things or get uh, disorganized with drawers as opposed to cargo trays. Lastly, security. Unless you have a topper or some other uh, creative solution, Cargo trays are not very secure, right? Everything's just laying on top of the cargo tray in the open bed and everything is really quick and easy to get to. You're really just asking for someone to steal what is sitting on the cargo tray, but most drawers either have a lock or you can use your tailgate uh, to lock the drawer system. So if, if you look at ours, we have a keyed lock system. Truck Vault does a similar thing, but they've got some more intensive uh, locks on their systems. See, these are our uh, weather covers over our key holes. Um, Decked has an optional, I think, barrel lock configuration. But again, you've got the added security of your tailgate lock, which is huge, right? Especially if you're transporting firearms or other valuable goods, having a lock or a secure system to store your stuff is big. So those are some of the pros and cons to cargo trays and drawer systems. In some cargo trays are probably best if you carry tons of bulky gear, whether that's uh, wheelbarrows, lumber, stuff like that. But drawer systems really shine when it comes to organizing multiple pieces of equipment, which most of us are in that position if we're camping or traveling out of our trucks. We need something uh, that keeps all the little stuff in its rightful place. So that's our take. We'd love to hear yours. Any questions, input, make sure you let us know. If you're new here or if you haven't yet, comment or like and subscribe and comment. Let us know what you'd like to hear next. Tomorrow we're going to talk about five things that are worth spending more on when it comes to truck modifications or overland travel or just vehicle travel in general. And we're gonna do a follow-up video the day after on maybe five areas that you can spend less on and budget on. So don't miss that. Again, we'd love to hear your input, but thanks for tuning in today. We'll see you next time. All right, bye-bye.